The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. No one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise We have good news this morning from the Gospel of Matthew that unless we become childlike, we cannot enter the kingdom. And, and I know you, in your wisdom and your human experience so far on the journey for so many years, know the difference, the qualitative difference between being childish and childlike. Uh, the Lord's reminding us that even though we grow in knowledge, human experience, uh, through, through the, the, the blessings of life, and the, by the fairness of life, and even though we grow academically, etc., uh, and mature uh, in, in physically, uh, because of wisdom and because of our uh, connection to God through our living through the years, uh, we're able to make that distinction to not lose along the way what is important to hang on to, those childlike attributes. So we don't stay immature, but we mature in wisdom. And so we know that a child is utterly dependent, that a child blindly trusts. And so consequently, even though we grow in knowledge and wisdom, etc., uh, we still, in our relationship with God, must, like a child, trust and depend on God. What can happen if we're not careful is, and it happens to an awful lot of good people, maybe some of your children or grandchildren, where come up along the way, they just don't seem to uh, be as aware as you are at the moment in your life uh, of the truth that will set them free, that faith in God is not childish, a childlike, and that although you may look like a fool, it's really wisdom to trust and to follow the Lord. And so he encourages us then to be childlike, uh, not childish, to grow up spiritually and to not uh, give in to our fears or give in to thinking we've solved the mystery and uh, it's, it's, it's not all that interesting or worthy of our trust. On the contrary, uh, for those of us who remain childlike, despite our maturity and our knowledge, our academic uh, achievements, but we still re remain childlike, then there's an openness and a trust, and it's an ability then to see that those who refuse to be childlike are blind to the truth that Christ is in me. Despite our sin, Christ is in me.
And then when we see Christ in ourselves, you know, like can see like. So seeing Christ in yourself in humility, despite our sin, allows us to see Christ in everyone else, especially where it's difficult and requires child likeness to see Christ in those who we find it difficult to see Christ in. Let us stand out and pray, please, my dear friends.